Hello you guys, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I am back with a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Summarizing Venus, North Node, or any of the placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video if it resonates. Comment down below if you feel the vibe and subscribe. And if your reading doesn't resonate today, maybe next time. Alright, important messages for Aquarius Holy Spirit. I cleanse this reading from any negative energy that may show up in your previous messages. Important messages for the sign of Aquarius Holy Spirit. Some of you guys may need to get your teeth checked. Time to get your teeth checked. All right, important messages for the spirit. Yeah, we got the six of swords coming out here. What's this whole spirit? Four of coins. Two of cups. Lovers. By the way, bitch, you got the five of coins here in reverse. But you have the seven of coins when I split the deck. Um, I don't know if you have money or you've been saving your money or your guides are wanting you to save your money or save what you have or set a boundary because you have this two of cups lovers here. Meaning there is like a perfect opportunity. Something is being set up for you. It's going to be perfect alignment of what you need or what, what's been missing in your life. Something is going to be perfect. And some of y'all feel like you're going to have like the exact amount, like down to the sense and change. So I'm getting that. I'm getting that like, this is like perfect you. Like, Say if like you'd be like, dang, I really just, I, I really want this this type of car or whatever the case is. And I know I try to refer from materials just because I'm more of a spiritual type of being. But I'm just using you as an example. Say um, you're like, oh, I just wish I had this, this car. And then this opportunity comes where like you have that car and it's good that you saved your money because it's literally the exact amount but you'll have like some money saved over so like you can pay like the insurance you can pay for the place whatever the case is you'll have like the perfect amount for that purchase so i'm getting that i'm getting something is perfect like something is about to be put into alignment and it's going to be perfect for your situation perfect for the amount of money that you have perfect for your budget perfect for your lifestyle whatever it is i'm getting it's going to be perfect for you at the time that you are in your life because it seems like it's going to take you out of some sort of struggle that you've been having at whatever area of your life that this is it's going to take you out of some sort of struggle there is some conflict coming in though that this is maybe people around you competing for the same offer but the reason why they're telling you to save your money is because you may have look like they say Put your money where your mouth is, okay? So, yeah, it may be a lot of people. And do not, thank you, Holy Spirit. Do not get intimidated by, like, the competition. Like, oh, it's a lot of people in line. Or, oh, it's a lot of people applying for this job. A lot of people applying for this home. A lot of people are applying for this. So, how, why would I get selected? A lot of people ain't going to have what you have. And a lot of people ain't going to have your resources. A lot of people don't have your experience. A lot of people don't have that money. Okay? I'm just being real. There's something you have that you need to hold on to because it's going to be required in whatever this is. And because of that, your guys are warning you, who cares if people are, like, competing or it's, like, a long line. That's like you showing up somewhere and you seeing that the line is down the street and you're like... Uh, th there's no luck for me, but you don't realize on the other side of that door that there's a lot of people getting turned away. 
So I'm getting that. I'm getting that somebody here don't get confused because you know how y'all know how the Antichrist will trick you. You'll go to an environment and you'll see that there's so many people there and you may not even know or see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that it may be a lot of people there, but not a lot of people are getting through. Okay? Or not a lot of people are getting approved. Okay? Look at the wow. Look. Ten of cups. The star. Ten of swords is in reverse, which lets me know that something that you've been praying for, you don't realize a lot of people have a lot of support. And some of y'all, you could be in an environment where, like, a lot of people are suffering. And this may be you wanting to help a lot of people, but let's see what this is really quick. What's this Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit? The hair of font is in reverse. What's this Holy Spirit? King of Coins, systematic abuse. Okay. Um... There's something going on about the systematic abuse. Something is some sort of systematic abuse is based off of like funds or money, resources, greed. But I feel like a lot of people are suffering because one person, yeah, I'm getting something is overpriced or there's something here. You're going to be able to help a lot of people or pour into a lot of people. Something you're doing is going to help others. Yeah, because I feel like you're generous or you're nice or you're willing to give back or give give back or something like that. Something's going on with the system. This could be whatever this is. Holy Spirit, what is this? What is this about? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. There's going to be a lot of hardships or like a lot of chaos revolving around this thing. Sorry, y'all. My son sounded like he fell off the bed. I'm like, what? What's the Ten of Wands? Nine of Cups need help. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know what you're doing or what this is, but it's going to be really big. It's going to be a big thing, a big deal. A lot of people are going to, like, leave a company or an organization. They're going to come to you or come to your place or I don't know what you're doing. I'm getting something was unfair or... Look, the devil can't make this up. Something was unfair. There is something going on behind the scenes, and it's crazy because I feel like it's trying to block the message, too. I feel like there is a situation here where, like, something is happening where it's causing a lot of chaos. And a lot of people are, like, fighting. It's very corrupt. There's greed. There's traditional abuse. There could be systematic abuse. It's all about the dollar. It's all about money. It's all about power. But there's something you're doing or something you're saying. And it's going to bring a lot of hate. But it's also going to help a lot of people. But the devil is in the center of this reading. devil's in the center of this reading. Yeah, we have the Queen of Coins in reverse. What's this? Could be a Capricorn. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, so you could be calling somebody out. Yeah, you may have to um, you may have to go to court if this is not like a jurisdiction, I'm getting, I'm getting, you may have to go to court. Yeah. Yep, Queen of Cups. 
Yeah, there is a situation here where like you're gonna really pour a lot of things. Yes, you're gonna cause somebody to think about their behaviors. Somebody's gonna reject your offer though. Somebody's not gonna want your kindness. Somebody wants to fight, they want to argue. Yeah, ace of wands. But I feel like you you deserve or you have gained a, a, a you gained some sort of respect. The strength card. People see you as somebody who they could trust, believe in. There's something here where like the hurry in reverse. You're dealing with people who think they know everything or they have outdated thinking, old ways of thinking. Yeah, this is a system. I'm trying to force a message and I'm just going to be real. This is like a systematic situation here. I don't know what you're saying, what you're doing, or whatever it is. It's exposing something. And because of that, they're going to try to block you, block your messages, block whatever it is that you're trying to do in your life. This is a, this is more of like a bigger situation. This is a spiritual warfare that it's, it's in the physical, though, but because the devil is here. I feel like this is more of like a, you are being blocked on a physical plane over spiritual things, though. Like, I don't know if you speak these things, share these things, or you're just very, you share your insights or your creativity is just out of this world. Yeah, because I'm like, yeah, I feel like the energy is trying to be blocked and I can tell because my energy is off. I What this is, is that there is a lot of trying to block you in the physical, definitely over spiritual things. Like you are a spiritual being and the way that you are manifested or things are coming about in your life is through spirituality. Yeah, you've cracked the code. And it's crazy because I think I just put that in uh, the collective reading where Aquarius, you guys have cracked some sort of code in the spiritual realm. It's well, in the physical due to your spiritual abilities. And because of that, you've been became, people have became aware of the power that you have. And because people have reported you, you've been watched and gang stalked and all that shit, people know who you are. So I know it may sound so taboo and out of the ordinary, but on some real shit though, no, I'm getting like, you're being stopped on like, you're being blocked or people are trying to block you on major scales though. Or they're trying to make your way a lot harder to keep you from spreading this knowledge or doing really what you love or helping people or giving back. They're trying to make your, your efforts go unnoticed. Yeah, with the tower. Yeah, so that you lose all your support or lose all your money or you, you give up. Yeah, they're trying to hold you back or they're trying to block you from communicating or spreading this message. Somebody here is a messenger. So, yeah, I don't know what you do or what you've been doing, but you really got... People trying to block the messages. Yeah, because I feel like with the Page of Cups here, yeah. I'm hearing receiver. Yeah. You made a lot of sacrifices here. And I feel like with temperance here, it's, I feel like as well, it's not the right time. Something is not the right time. Yeah, judgment. I'm telling you, judgment. Something is not the right time. Justice. Because I feel like you got people trying to come after you, block you, but it's it's just wrong timing. The devil is all over this energy and it's still trying to block the messages. It's wrong timing. The thing is that you are in your calling. You've already came into alignment with it. So you have people like coming off their seats trying to block you, trying to hinder you, trying to stop you. They see your resume. They're flagging you. I'm getting some of y'all, you're being, uh, what is it called? Not blackmailed, but blackballed. You're being blackballed by the system. You're being blackballed by the courts. You're being blackballed by whatever. <laughs> Opportunities, they're blackballing you. That's what this is. But that's justice though, because you're gonna you're here to serve social justice. That's your calling. Yeah, you're being blackballed here. It's crazy because they tried to like um clear the message. And it's crazy because lately the dreams have been like that too, where it feels like you can't remember them. 
They're trying to get, they're trying to block your intuition, block your insight. Yeah, but five of coins is in reverse. Ooh, and it fell back upright. What is this, Holy Spirit? Look at this. I'm telling you, they want to leave you out because somebody here is a true shaman here, y'all. Somebody has experienced the power of a true shaman. Somebody here is a true shaman, y'all. And they want you to feel outcast and alone. I'm telling you, you're being watched, y'all. You're being stalked. I'm telling you, you're being stalked. You're being gang stalked, watched, all of that. They're monitoring you. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting you put in a resume or you apply for something and you could apply for a loan and you get denied. And you're like, what the fuck? I know I got the credit or I know I got the shit. That's why. Ten of coins. But you got royal DNA, though. You got royal DNA. That's why they mad. Because you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to test the God. That's what they're trying to test. They're trying to test God. Because they're like, this person thinks that they are so powerful. And that they just have the mighty force of the divine. And that they can manifest and do all these things without us. And let us withdraw or pull all of our resources away from them. And we're not going to give them these things. And we're going we're gonna to let them suffer and see how they survive without us. Since we're so bad or we're such just this thing. Oh, you don't want to be attached to the devil? Okay, we're going to cut you off for everything that's attached to the devil. So the government is the system. All of that. Next thing you know, they're going to be trying to cut you off for food and water. You're going to have to grow your own shit. You don't want nothing. We grew that shit. So since you don't like us and you don't want to abide by our rules, go grow your own food. Indeed, as you should. Yeah, eight of cups in reverse. So I'm getting, they, they're like, yeah, let me see you survive on your own out there in the wilderness. Let me see how you survive. And what should you do? Go build a home. Go build a life for yourself. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. You came out of the fucking matrix. So now the matrix is like, well, since you think that you're so woke, you're so alive, you're so free. Okay, we're going to cut you off. We're going to block you from everything. And we're going to cause delays in your life so that you, so you drive yourself crazy. And you feel like you have to turn back into your wicked ways. Sell us your soul or we're going to cut you off. Simple. Look, nine of swords in reverse. I mean, nine of swords in the uh, nine of coins in reverse. They feel like if you do not give your soul over to them, then you're going to suffer. They're going to torment you. So I'm telling you guys now. You either can do what you've been doing because you have royal DNA, you're going to manifest anyway. Um, or you can give in to this or do whatever you please. Look, the choice is yours. Look, some of y'all, y'all just going to say, fuck it. I'm going off on the deep end. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm so sorry. The sun card, and that is where you will find fulfillment in your life. I know this reading is so deep and spiritual and there's a lot of metaphors in this reading. But I really want y'all to follow me. I'm getting, I'm getting somebody you're going off on the deep end. Like for real. I'm getting something is crooked and you don't want to be a part of it. And I'm getting there's other people who don't either. So I'm getting you're about to build a community or something like that. As soon as I pick up the deck, protected. You're protected. So, yeah, I feel like a, you're about to build a community. Shit. You're about to take y'all sticks and stones and build houses and shit. Or you're about to go travel across to another country or to another city or to another area where the land is free. And build your own community there. You don't have to pay taxes or some shit. So that, that's what's going to happen in somebody's future. What's 
is this Holy Spirit? Look, <laughs> know your worth. Say no. Don't settle. Rejection is your protection. Set yourself up for greatness. Know your worth. If you are being rejected, it is for your protection. If a community does not want you to be a part of it, it is for your protection. So if they're trying to outcast you and get you away and get out of here, it's because you have a higher purpose anyway. You know, it's so funny because a lot of the times, thank you, Holy Spirit, a lot of the times we get so wrapped up in what's happening and we forget that. Sometimes people, they'll sabotage us. They'll go out of their way to get rid of us, sabotage us, just to cause us to push us to our independence. Because, you know, if you get, if you're alone for so long, eventually you'll get bored and you'll start getting creative. So I'm getting, I'm getting, they're forcing you to be creative. They're forcing you to make a life for yourself. They're forcing you to be independent. They're forcing you to go grow your own damn food. They're forcing you. Because if, they starve you and they, they take all your resources or they, they they take the job, the opportunities from you. And you're like, well, damn, I don't got nowhere else to go. I guess I'll go live off the grid. Then you learn how to grow your own crops. You learn how to build and you learn how to build a community or uh, share gratitude and, and spend more time in nature, whatever the case is. And you learn those things, those very same things that they didn't want you to have. You become more in depth and you become more enlightened and you become more powerful. So then they think they really gave you more power. They really, no, they really exposed you to how powerful you actually really are. Because some of y'all, you're on the tip of your power. You're like, damn, I'm powerful. But no, you could really be powerful though. Like you could really be like evolved. For real. But yeah. Relocation, someone is getting released. When I tell you I can't make this up, I feel like you're just going to go live off the grid or something or go live off somewhere else. You're like, well, guess it's time for me to go. I feel like you're about to leave, you're about to relocate, or this is what you're being called to do. The fool was the last card out. Take a chance, take a leap of faith. Someone is getting readings. What is this? Someone is getting readings, Holy Spirit. What if someone is getting readings? Yeah, blind rebellion. Yeah, I'm getting somebody thinks they know. Like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting. So if somebody is doing witchcraft and all that shit like that with the devil, they're obsessing, they're watching you, they're readings, they're pulling cards on you, they're they're trying to block you, they're trying to stop you. But I feel like with the blind rebellion, I'm getting the readings have no accuracy on your life. You're protected. Yeah, time is running out. Wrong timing. Collaboration. What's this? Intuition. Thief. <laughs> These people are collaborating to try to steal from you, but you're too intuitive. Excuse me. You're too intuitive. You're too enlightened. You're dealing with envious people out for you and shit. But you're too aware. You're too enlightened. Could be a sibling. That sibling always comes out in your readings. Great parent brings out the worst in others. Narcissist, I'm also getting as well, like you feed the youth or you care about the children. I'm getting, I'm getting as well, like I don't know what it is in the community, but like I always have to tell people, please watch our children. Please watch our children. Because a lot of the times we think the attack is on us, but it's really on our kids, okay? And I've been seeing that a lot of the readings where I feel like a lot of the attacks are on the children. So I feel like a lot of the times we just have to be mindful because they are the future. So if you already are living in your power and you're living in your alignment and they can already see who you are, they know your offspring is coming. You get what I'm saying? They're like... This is a nation that you are raising. This is a nation. So your children, you already a beast. So you already plant seeds in your children. They're going to be masterminds. 
okay? You got little miniature masterminds, okay? Walking around here, okay? So the attack is with children. And with, with you being a great parent and you prophesying or like putting these, planting these seeds, and even if you don't have children, you have a nurturing energy where you just want the best for others. And whatever seed you plant, it really sticks and it grows and it spreads and it prospers. It, it's, it's just beautiful. And it, it grabs it like it has magnetic force to it to where people are so attracted to its beauty that it wants to plant more seeds around it, that it wants to protect the seeds that are planted. And because of that, you have a lot of narcissistic energy who wants to kill, steal, and destroy. They want to take it as their own. But this is like them seeing a flower growing and they come and they cut it and they take it, but they don't properly nurture it, feed it, whatever the case is that they have to do to keep it alive and it just dies. It's pointless. You're dealing with people who just, they can't, uh, they can't look at something and just let it be what it is. They have to have it and, and use it. And if it, and when it dies, what do they do? They throw it away instead of just leaving it and letting it be as it is. And that's what it was with these people. They didn't want to just accept you for who you were. They wanted to make you and, and, and hold you hostage and, and, and rub you and, 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 and just be so in awe with your energy. But they didn't want to feed you, water you, clothe you, invest in you, nothing. They wanted to keep you in a fucking hourglass or keep you in a vase all day, but didn't want to do the proper maintenance to keep you thriving, alive. Just so they can say, look at this beautiful flower I have. And when it dies, they get rid of you and go pick another one. Yeah, luck is on your side. Something is about turning your favor. You're about to get some good news here. But your guys want you to know, take a leap of faith here. When you're dealing with an older man, older woman, you could be an older man or an older woman. You are being invited to a celebration by an older man or an older woman. Your guys are telling you this person is a predator. Be careful. Do not trust them. That's what I'm getting. Watch children. Okay? You're being invited to a celebration by an older man or an older woman. This person is a predator. Don't trust them. Lacking accountability. Antichrist. Deadbeat parent. Yes, some of y'all, unfortunately, you were sleeping with the devil. This person is the Antichrist. They're the one carrying that Antichrist spirit. Yeah. See, and it's crazy because it's a lot of energy. It's crazy because the energy that you're dealing with is an energy that has been attached to you, and the Antichrist has been able to use this person the most in your life. This could have been an ex, somebody you have children with. This person, unfortunately, is a predator. Um, and I feel like with this deadbeat Antichrist lack of accountability, this person is a deadbeat parent, a deadbeat person, a deadbeat energy. And because of that, they prey on you a lot because they're operating out of the Antichrist spirit. And it's sad because I feel like some of y'all, you could have married this person, you could have had children with this person. And, you know, when you're dealing with that, especially when you have children involved, your children get split down the middle. So you could be somebody who is of the light and you like to spread love and kindness and your children have those seeds in them. But they could also be dealing with a spirit that is of the Antichrist. You know, they could deal with addictions. They could deal with toxic behavior. They could have, you know, really bad temper. They could have really bad, like, just behaviors where you could see, like, you know, even those uh, predator behaviors. And you start analyzing them. You're like, why are they so different from me? Because you, they were split down the middle, <laughs> okay? And you dealing with, you got to... Let, you got to just keep planting those seeds and keep watering those seeds into your children until they eventually grow and they start to see. Because right now, when they're children, they cannot see the spiritual warfare the way that you can. You can see it spiritual, spiritual warfare, but they cannot. And so all the attacks that they're going through all day, they don't know how to manage that like you do. So it's just important that you just continue to plant and water those seeds and tame the beast. Because I feel like some of y'all, you could be dealing with that in your home where you're having to constantly tame the beast. Because you're dealing with children who are dealing with the devil. And I'm just being real with y'all. 
you deal it with children, you deal it with family members, whoever is in your life that you have to, you know, be around, you're dealing with the devil, okay? And it's unfortunate because some of y'all, like I said, these are children, okay? But it's just important that you become aware of when the spiritual warfare is taking place. And that's when you go into your, uh, you know, you get suited up. That's when you go into that warfare. Yeah, because it says looking for any reason to say something. Y'all got to ask who you have children with. And they're all in your business. They're trying to say everything about your parenting. This person wants to make you look bad. Which is so sad. We have STD. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who has sexually transmitted demons. They're demonic. But with the make a choice here, what's this? They want to force something on you. Influence. I'm telling you, make a choice. Influence LGBTQ. Y'all dealing with a predator. Y'all are dealing with a predator, y'all, for real. And with the make a choice, influence LGBTQ, this person is a predator. And I, I'm I'm sorry, but I keep getting this in y'all readings. And I just feel like I don't know if you guys just don't understand me or what. But y'all have an ex who you may have children with. This person is a predator, okay? And they push shit onto your children because it was pushed onto them as a child. They could have been taken advantage of by a family member, a friend, a family friend, somebody in their life who took advantage of them when they were a child and it made them question their sexuality. And unfortunately, some of y'all, you could be dealing with um, someone you have children with who makes their children question their sexuality. Yeah, you need to block this person. That's clear as day. It's the same. That message right here for somebody is always in your reading. Which lets me know, like, I don't know if you guys are still dealing with this or you know somebody dealing with this. This energy, I know y'all may have children with them, but they are a predator. Like, I'm going to just keep saying that. And I think I got a reading um, on this channel that says, do not trust this person around your children. Whoever this is, they are a predator. Like, they actually are someone who seeks out children. So just please, just listen, y'all. We have a business partnership coming up. Sudden change. What's this? Family betrayal. What's this? Looking for a way out. Self-esteem, confidence. Yeah, you have some family members trying to block your business. Um, with the sudden change, they're looking for a way out. They want to steal an opportunity from you. Yeah, because you have new beginnings. You have family members that want to block you, okay? Accept support. Yeah, you have support coming in. These are just low lives who want to bring you down. Yeah, these are just low lives who want to bring you down. Being committed, karma. Yeah, they're getting karma. They're just being committed to, like, ruining your life. But they're getting karma, addictions. This person's doing black media. They're addicted to doing black magic on you. Like they can't stop. Because you are a powerful manifester with positive energy bold for God. That's literally the only reason why these people are trying to block you is because you are a powerful manifester. Positive energy and a bold personality. Hey, I'm also getting that. I'm getting you don't give a fuck about how they feel, about them doing black magic. I'm getting, I'm getting. They want you to be mad they're doing black magic on you. Like, yeah, take that. Yeah, that 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 bad thing that happened in your life, that was me doing black magic on you. It's like, okay, get the fucking life. Oh, you're breaking out of your face? That was me. Ha, ha, ha. But you look good as fuck still, though. The spell has broken. What are you going to do? Do another one? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, they're going to spend their entire life doing that shit. They're like, I'm going to take everything from you. You're not going to have a house, a car, nothing. Your career is going to be fucked up. You're not going to be able to get your education. Your children are going to be out of control. Your household is going to fall apart. We're going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And you're like, okay. Look, remember.
remember who you were before the pain. That's what they didn't want you. That's what they don't want you to be. They don't want you to be free of pain. They don't want you to be free of pain. They don't want you to be free of misery. Because while they were in your life, they were making you miserable. Now you cut them out, so they're doing witchcraft. Okay. Spirit guide said, face your fears. They're telling you to face your fears because the very thing that you are afraid to do is the very thing that's going to set you free. Whatever that thing is. Look, choose peace. I can't make this up. Choose peace. If this is causing me chaos, I'm going to choose peace. So, yeah, give love. Just keep loving your children. Just keep loving yourself. Just keep keep the love that you have in your heart because I feel like you have a lot of it. Have courage. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, have courage. Believe in yourself. Times of adversity. Yeah, so if you're going through anything, you need to believe in yourself and have courage. Confidence. Be confident. You are close to accomplishing a goal. Some of y'all... You're about to accomplish a goal because you're being pushed out of an organization. You're being pushed out of an environment. It's going to it's going to force you to face a fear because you're going to get pushed so far to the edge, literally with the full. You're going to have to jump. You're going to have no choice unless you just fold and crumble and fall over. But no, you're not going to have a choice. You're going to have to jump. Look, progress is better than no progress. So even if you're going as slow as a turtle, one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, progress is better than no progress. Because I'm getting, it's going to piss them off because you're like this. You're like very patient. You're like, you know how at the wedding, they walk real slow and they're like, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting, they're like, block, 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 block. And you're just like, Going at the, the speed of a snail, but shit is getting done. That's the funny part about it. Like, shit is getting done. It's going slow, but it's taking its time. But it's getting done, though. Look, be with the ones who help you shine. Get more information. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, you can get around these people. People have insight. People have information. Some people are gatekeeping is what I'm hearing. Some people are gatekeeping. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to have this information yet because you deserve respect. You know, I'm getting that's what it is. People, people just don't want to give you respect. I'm not saying well, they don't want to give you credit. They don't want to give you credit that you inspire people, so they're gatekeeping information. They're like, you're not that smart. You think you're all that? You're not. But trust yourself. I'm telling you, you do. You really do got the keys to the street. <laughs> I feel like people are doing shit, and it's so funny because it's not just the people that you think. I'm getting a lot of people are doing it too. I'm mean, getting it's a systematic situation. It's, it's bigger than just people. It's, it's actually the system. They want you to think that like you're not figuring it out or you don't know it's them, but it is them. It's them. It's all of them. Look, you don't owe them anything. They want you to believe that you owe them something. You don't owe them anything. Make a routine. Slow down. Be reliable. Aging is beautiful. That's what I'm getting. If you got to take your time or something takes a long time for you to grow it, okay. Take out your folding chair and watch it grow. Well, since you're, I'm, I'm getting, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. They're slowing you down. But you know what the beauty in that? You're not going to age too fast. You're not going to grow old too fast. You're going to enjoy your long, loving life. The, lot, the whole world is speeding and every day feels like 10 years. It's going to be day by day for you. You're going to be able to see the sun come up in the morning and you're going to be able to watch it go down. You're going to be able to see the crops grow and then you're going to see when they wither away. You're going to be able to enjoy every moment of your life and it's going to show you so much you've missed out on. And you're going to appreciate life a lot more from the perspective that has been forced onto you. So we're going to slow you down. 
but really they're just giving you a better look at life. So while you are going through life and you're appreciating it, you're valuing it, and you are loving your life. Everybody else is running around her like, life is hard. Life is hateful. It's a struggle with the bills. And you ain't got no bills because they done made you lose your job. <laughs> you done got burnt, kicked out of that house and, and kicked you out of that community. And all you got left is you're just sitting on a hill and you're looking at the sun go down. And then you put your tent up and you climb into your tent and you lay down. And you can feel the cold, nice little summer breeze. And you have no responsibilities but to live your life happy and in peace. A lot of you guys, you're like, what the fuck? She's crazy. But for real. <laughs> like, you don't understand the magic in what is actually happening in your life. And a lot of you guys, you're going to come into that reality. Look, because I cannot make these reasons up. You are on the right path. I'm done. I'm done. You're on the right path. So whatever is happening to you, it's happening for you. So believe in yourself. Whatever you've been believing in, stay consistent in that. Don't start getting afraid or being afraid just because you're going through some shit. Keep believing. Keep believing. Because you're about to have some sort of awakening if you have not yet. And it's going to change your perspective on what's happening in your life. So be grateful. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below for further vibes. Peace, bye. Peace.